Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? I got another bomb guide for you guys. This time it's gonna be for the most popular site here on Bank. So I'm gonna give you guys my variation of the most popular strat used by high platinums and diamonds for attacking CCTV and lockers. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Dude, it's too easy out here. Starting with our team composition, we're going to be taking a Bonda since there's a lot of hatches that we need to get through. Bank is a roamer heavy map so we're definitely going to be taking Jackal and with his shotgun he can take out those soft hatches. Next up Lion. Jackal and Lion make a dynamic duo that will take out any roamer. For our fourth pick, we're going to be taking Capital or Ying. They're great because they have smokes and they can help get control of Red Hallway which I'll get to later. For our final pick, I really like Monty since he makes planting the diffuser a lot easier, and once the diffuser is down, that's when line becomes a nightmare for the enemy team. So that's a pretty solid, that's a lineup I like. But some for optional picks, if you don't want two anti-roamers, and you don't want a shield, you can definitely take some utility in Ash, IQ, or Sophia. You don't need a soft breacher since there's no vertical play. I have seen Thermite uh, get picked by pros because there's a, a lot of things you need to get there. There's five hatches and possibly a wall. So that's why they're much a solid pick. You can take the Banana Hunter Glass since there's plenty of smokes and power positions to hold. So I'm going to take Buck for his destruction and let's get right to it. So going over the spawns real quick. I like spawning Alley just because it's closest to hatches and for me it's like the safest spot to peek or to yeah, anti-peek the roamers who are trying to spawn peek you. So coming up parking front I don't like spawning there since it forces you to push the garage and that shooting fish their barrel for the defenders and then spawning jewelry front if you want to push the cave is perfectly fine so I run behind this police car or truck I don't know what you call that shoot the cam and you gotta watch out for the roamers pre-fire the door and then pre-fire the window and then after you do that I like to repel up this wall even though we're going for hatches. I like to repel up on the skylight to watch the blue stairs door because that's a high traffic area for the roamers and sometimes they hold an angle there so this is a pretty good way to get a pick on the enemy team. So going over our overall push the whole attacking team they can uh, spawn jewelry or not spawn jewelry but spawn alley and all push open or you can split it up like to a 3-2 group and like three spawn alley to push open and then the other two spawn jewelry to push cave so I would say Monty line push cave and then capital and you'd be capital ying but I'm going with capital this case so capital Habana and Jackal are pushing open so going over the hatches the most important part we're gonna want to get the uh let me go over the hatches real quick so skylight the skylight hatch this is a, a useful hatch because sometimes a defender likes to hold down cave so right here so when they're trying to push through cave usually a defender's right there and the attackers can't really do anything about it unless they have like a glass or blackbeard because there's only one to, only one way to get through so that also makes Monty useful he helps push through there and then opening up the hatch can give you some extra ways to kill the person so we got that other hatch so these first three hatches that I'm showing you are the hatches that you want to hit with Habana if there's any soft hatch then make sure Jackal hits that so closet hatch leads into OBJ so this is the bomb we're gonna be focusing on we're gonna be focusing on the CCTV bomb a bomb this is like nine times out of ten the bomb and probably gets planted here so it's just the safest bomb because it's closest and there's a lot of hatches on that bomb and if you can get high control it makes planning so easy so this hatch into red hallway this is what you could be taking capital and ying for but i'll get to that later so the other two hatches in the elevator you guys right know these are the hatches you want to use if you want to push the other bomb and lockers so, but it's important, even if you're not pushing the other bombs, it's important to open up all the hatches so you have options if you need to change up the plan. So, we got hatches. We got Habana's job, get the three hatches on the east side. 
So going with Jackal. Jackal and Capital, they could be hunting the roamers. You know, they're both pretty fast. Or Capital's a three speed, so that's good. And then Lion doesn't need to be with him because his ability is global, as you guys already know. So Habana's going to be joining out for Jackal and Capital. Jackal's going to be tracking them. Whenever they need wall hacks, just call on Lion, and then they can take out the roamers easy. And then if the Lion and Monty need help, they can always just go through that hatch and give them cover. So now that we've got Jackal's job, Habana's job. Lion ain't that complicated. Monty ain't that complicated. Monty's going to be the planter. And Lion, his ability is a global. It's not that difficult. So I'm just trying to think. Like, I don't really need to show you guys that. I like to show you guys what I'm talking about. But that's just like pretty simple. So I'll get to the plant later. So right here, there's usually a mirror on this wall. Usually a double mirror and a smoke. Because Monty, the most common plant is in this area. And right here, I guess I'll get to the plant now while I'm explaining stuff. I still got to get Capital's job done, but I got to explain this first. So right here, this is the safest plant you can do. So your body hunch is over, so you want to face away from the enemies when you plant the bomb. So right there, hunch over. This is the safest you can do. And this is why pros take a thermite, because they usually reinforce this wall. And Habana can't get that up, can't open that up because she needs to get hatches. And then right here, then you can plant right here. Monty put his shield on his back, smoke the mirrors. You do not, do not smoke yourself because you want to be able to see and not let the defender see. And then you can probably plant right here. That's probably the worst option, but the bomb can give you some cover. So that's where you're going to plant. So going over Capital now. So right here, you can use one smoke bolt on the mirrors. So these guys, Lion and Monty, they're going to be waiting for Jack or Ying to get these get mirror and smoke out of the windows and out of red hallway. So you can smoke the mirror. And then sm oh, you can use both smokes on the mirror. I was going to go into Ying's job. But right here, you get a nice angle. Shoot a fireball through here, and if they're standing right there, then that's an easy kill. But, oh, I, I changed my mark. But if you shoot through these railings, and, like, you skim by this, your fireball's gonna land, like, right about here. And it's gonna get them off this mirror. It's gonna force them to sit back, and when they try to throw their uh, smokes or C4s, the throw's not gonna be as good. So that gives your planter a better chance of surviving. So if you're going ying... Then what you're going to want to do is smoke the mirrors as well, but also smoke your hallway. So smoke your hallway. I'll throw a grenade first. And then roll, charge up your candelas and roll them down. And then push. Kill the person right there. Get control of red hallway. Pretty nice. Once you get control of red, pretty safe for your planner to go down put the bomb. And then line uses wall hacks, and that's a GG. Honestly, it's uh, that simple. So, going over to the other bombs push real quick. Uh, I don't recommend pushing this bomb, so that's why I'm just giving a quick glance over. So, you're going to want to spawn the west side, I think, uh, parking front. That's what that spawn's called. And you just want to clear out this side of the map. You don't really need to worry about the other side. Definitely open up teller's hatch, elevator hatch. You can drop them. Um... You do not need... Let's see, who can you change up? Monty. You don't really need a Monty for this one. Who else? I think the other people are fine. So what you can do is... You can have a person drop down each hatch. So one, two. And then you're going to have like your black beard or glass push through cave. You know, I don't recommend pushing garage because it's just such an easy angle to hold for the defenders. But... When it comes to Glass and Blackbeard, they can definitely turn the tide on a 1v1. So they can push through Garage. Breach this wall right here so they get the people out of red. Or kill the people in red. So kill the people in red. And then, so you have one on Garage. Then you have someone come downstairs. So that's four people. Drop each hatch. Stairs, Garage. And then the final person can either overwatch or they can come down and plant right here in this corner and then that's a gg afterwards like when you come down yeah once you have, once you get the bomb down to gg right there it's like 
really like the only way they can go through is the hallway or OBJ, but like this one person can cover it pretty easy on down elevator. When you drop hatches, make sure to smoke the drop and then reposition and after that, that's when you can take take control over vault and kill the people. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and if you want more Dirty Dave, please subscribe. Other than that, see you guys next time.